What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about why only 1% of you are actually gonna do what I'm telling you to do. Even with my 17 years of experience, all the failure that I had, that I learned from, that I turned around and created so much success from, and now I have a track record. 100 deals a year, 100, 100, 100, 100. Every year since 2014 as a single agent. Now I'm just sharing everything I do with you directly, not charging you a dime don't want a dollar from you. I just want you to take what I'm doing and get out there and succeed. But the question is, why will only 1% of you actually follow through, do what I'm saying, and get out there and become the top agent in your area, the number one agent in your market, make a million dollars a year, whatever your goals are, why don't more of you do what I'm saying to do? So that's what we're gonna get into today. If you're not part of the free real estate coaching program, there's a link in the description for that. And do me a huge favor, click the like button, leave me a comment, and let me know what your two cents is on why only 1% of people are actually gonna do what I'm saying to do. And just to give you a quick update on my personal real estate business, I had three closings this week. I got three more under contract and I picked up two new listings. It's only Thursday. I still got tomorrow. I have some appointments tomorrow. I have a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. So I'm really excited to try to get maybe another one or two under contract and maybe one or two more listings, something like that. So that's what I'm going to be shooting for. And today I got to go kite surfing for the first time in about two months, I want to say. There's been zero wind. I normally go kite surfing as much as I can. You know, once a week if I can, that would be perfect. Normally it's about once every two weeks. Sometimes it'll be a time where there's wind back to back days and we might go two or three days in a row because we never know when the next, you know, wind is gonna come through. So, um, man, it was so nice and just so good to be able to do that. That's my therapy. That's my. That, that's how that's what I do to kind of get away because I don't have a phone I'm just out there it's me the wind the water nature um, you know I'm hitting big jumps getting 20 30 foot and it's just a blast and I get I get it's it gives me a moment to kind of like recharge my brain and and not think about real estate work real, you know coaching all the stuff that I think about all day long. Um, it gives me a chance to not have to think about it during the day. Now, let's talk about why only 1% of you, is what I'm, the, what, the way I calculate it, will actually follow through and do what I'm saying to do. So let's take the 28-day challenge, for example, really quickly, before I get into actually what I actually think behind this. But the 28-day challenge, we're a week and a half in. Day one video was viewed over 7,000 times. Okay, so we started out with 7,000 people saying, let me check this thing out. You know, I, I don't know what their intentions were. Maybe they were saying they just wanna see what day one's like. They didn't really have any intentions to actually do the 28 day challenge. I'm not sure, I don't, I don't know what the motives were there, but we had over 7,000 views. Okay, let's check out the views of the 28 day challenge day to day. Okay, so day one was 7,500 views. Day two, 4,500 views, so 3,000 less. Okay, day three, 3,500, that's 1,000 less than day two. Day four, 2,700 views. Okay, it keeps going down. Day five, 1,800 views. Day six, 1,500 views. Day seven, 1,100 views. So it's not dropping as dramatically. It's kind of getting to a place where it's balancing out. It's still coming down. Day eight, 1,100 views. So it, so it stayed the same there between day seven and day eight. So it took a week, okay? Just after one week, we weeded out basically 6,400 people that watched day one. 6,400 people that watched day one were not watching the the 28 day challenge in the by the end of the first week okay this is a four week challenge at the end of the first week we lost 6400 people okay day eight was was 1100 like i said um day nine it went up it went up from 1100 to 1300 the reason I think it went up is because that was Monday of the second week, and I think everybody, you know, there was an extra 200 people there 
that was like, okay, I'm gonna get back on the train. Okay, it's Monday, you know, I gotta get in action here. Okay, and then day 10, back down to 1100. Uh, day 11 was under 1000, and day 12, which is today, is under 1000. So it's dropping, dropping, dropping. And I think by the time we get down to the last week, you know, out of the 30,000 people that are following me on YouTube, out of the 21,000 that are signed up for the free coaching program, 43,000 or so on Instagram, we're down to under 1,000 through one and a half weeks following the 28-day challenge, which is a new and very exciting. There's a lot of people having a lot of success with this already, and it's meant to get you out of your comfort zone. It's meant to make you step out of what you feel is comfortable and get you out of that box and to do things that you don't necessarily want to do, but you know you need to do and that will make you successful. Um, that's what excites me about the challenge. We're going live, we're making calls, we're doing a lot of things that you don't normally do and we're gonna be consistent with those things. We're gonna build our brand, we're gonna be personable, we're gonna do handwritten notes, there's all kinds of things. We're doing open houses. I'm showing you how to advertise for them, find your open houses, post it on social media every day. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're getting up 30 minutes earlier. That's way out of everybody's comfort zone to get up 30 minutes earlier than you normally get up. Drink water all day long, stay hydrated. So there's, there's just a lot of core key principles here in this challenge that's very exciting and people are, it's dropping down, okay? Why is this? I think it goes back to my four keys of success. Believe, work hard, adapt, and be patient. Okay, so I've said this before. If you're not successful or not as successful as you wanna be, I can literally have a five minute conversation with you about your business, about your philosophies, what you have going on, and I can identify which of these four things that you're lacking. Okay, it comes down to these four things. Okay, you have to extremely believe, 100 million percent, okay? Not 99.9, .9, but 100. And what I refer to this is, is like a funnel, okay? You, at the top, you have all these people that believe. A lot of people believe, many, many people believe. Out of this huge group of people that actually believe, because a lot of people say they believe, don't really believe, they're not really sure, not quite, they're not committed, okay? That's all belief, they're not confident, they're scared, all that, all that comes back to believing. You believe in yourself, you believe that you're the hardest working person, you believe that you want to help people and that they should want to work with you because you're here to help them, genuinely. So it all comes back to belief. You have all these people that believe, right? But then out of the people, out of all the people that believe, even fewer actually work hard behind their belief. So here we are with the people who, who believe up here, there's this many, but then that number that the people that actually work hard behind it, it dwindles, okay? The third part is adapting. The people that believe work hard and then adapt, okay? It becomes a smaller group of people. And then if you can put belief, working hard, and adapting along the way, if you can put those three pieces of the puzzle in place and then just be patient behind it, not want everything so bad, Right? Understand that you're gonna get there, but you just have to enjoy the process. I was just talking to an agent that called me out of the blue. I answered the call, and he, he was saying, I don't have my license yet, I'm waiting on it to get back, I'm just so excited, I'm ready to make phone calls. Ricky, you've been watching your videos, I just love them, just ready to go. And I was like, man, listen, if I could give you any words of advice, it would be that you need to enjoy this moment because it's not gonna last. Soon you'll have your license, and then you need to enjoy that moment before you make your first deal. Enjoy every little part of the process, knowing that you're willing to put the work in that it takes to get where you wanna be. This business is a, you did it, so I know I can do it business. And so if you know all these people are succeeding out there, there's no reason in the world why you can't succeed as well. If you believe, work hard, adapt. Adapting is not doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's adapting, changing your game plan, trying new things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, and figuring things out. So if you can put those three things together and then just enjoy those three things without worrying about when the results are coming and just be patient, then you've achieved 
such a high level of success because you're putting all this work in, you know you're gonna have all this success, but you're also a happy person because you're not anxious, you're not impatient, you're not just like unhappy because you're not there yet. You're happy with where you are. Okay, and that's what I want for all of you. So that's why I believe only 1% of you will actually do what I'm saying because a lot of you believe but aren't willing to work hard. Some of you don't even believe. Out of the people who believe and work hard, a lot of you are just doing the same thing over and over again. You won't adapt. You're just using the same phone script, saying the same thing with the same, you know, tone of your voice, speed of your voice. You're not changing it up at all. You're not, you're not listening to the prospects. You're just doing the same stuff over and over again and you're not getting any really good results along the way. And out of the people who do all those, all, and out of the people who do all three of those things really well, there's such a even fewer amount of people who are also patient. And that brings me down to the 1%. So that's why I think only 1% of you will actually do what I'm saying to do because there's something in these four principles that you're lacking in. And I want you right now to comment below and identify which of these four you're lacking in and tell me what you're gonna do to fix it or ask me what I think you should do to fix it. Tell me your problem. Tell me what's going on right now. I wanna know about it and I'm gonna respond and tell you what I think. Again, click that thumbs up, leave that comment. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. I love you guys so much, you have no idea. We'll see you on the next video, let's go.